What's up, YouTube? John here from Some Wonders. And it's True Seven. And today we're going to do another archetype discussion, and this day we're doing gladiator beasts. So, what do you think of their artwork? Like, what are they're obviously based off of um, gladiators and beasts, you know, as the names say, it's pretty self explanatory and whatnot. And their fusion based deck that premiered around uh, in the GX era. What was their first set that they were that they were released in? I think Gladiators Assault, if I remember correctly. So that's the one they premiered in. They've gotten support. <laughs> they gotten support throughout the ages, you could tell, because this was a reprint. This came out in. Uh, I know it was in support. I know, but I mean, this. I don't know. Was this one reprinted or was he a uh, support? I have no idea. Because I, because he was. Um, th we got this one in uh, Mega Pack fifteen. So it was obviously yeah, something re relatively relatively recent. I don't know. I think I don't remember when any of them came out. I just know they were premiered in Gladiators Assault. Yeah, they were like one of the main meta decks way back when. <laughs> yeah, no, they were like one of probably one of the best fusion decks because they didn't need polymerization. Yeah, weren't they the first ones that actually had that type of uh, capability? You know, like uh, it was called it's called Contact Fusion. I think Which the X Y Z can't Dragon Cannon was. <laughs> well, I mean they're they're a union. I don't think they technically count. Well, they still kind of contact fusion with each other to make yeah. that. So, I, I, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. Yeah. So there's obviously a lot of, a lot of cards within the archetype and whatnot. Half of them tell. don't even get used really. And all right, just let I me mean, just look at this. I mean, obviously, Gladiator Beast Andal is one of the best heart and soul of the deck cards. I know, right? I mean, okay. obviously you need him. Obviously, because I mean, people run them. I mean, just think about it. You can go rescue Rabbit <laughs> and then bring him out from the deck and then, like, go into an immediate rank four. Right? <laughs> and he could also be searched this with 10 key as well. No one uses that guy for anything, really. Yeah, what the heck is Coach Captain Bearman? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know why he was in there, guys. Mm. <laughs> so, do you think they could go and use some support? Because, I mean, obviously... They're 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 obviously good. They were met at um, one point, and <laughs> it does have its fan base and whatnot. I don't know if they really do. I mean, if it gets support, they have their they draw power. Well get a new gladiator beast monster, like some pendulum or something, because that's obviously the new thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a going. Because I mean, okay, you heard that. Um, because I know um old archetypes are getting pendulum support. For example, crystal beasts are oh, yeah, getting yeah. pendulum support. Which is actually ra rather strange to me. <laughs> yeah. So, how badly do you think this archetype needs support? Uh, I mean, it's alright. I mean, it does it fare against, like, non-Pendulum decks pretty well. I mean, I kind of played it a little bit. Yeah, but... But it's very complex. Like, you need to know what you're doing if you're playing Gladiator Beast. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. So, you'd say that it's more so for casual play as opposed to competitive play like well, if you could go and i don't think there's any competitive <laughs> builds for this archetype i think there is um, i mean if you go back in like what 08 <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea but uh i mean heraclinos is still pretty good card um, what does he do again? what does he do again i don't remember what he does he just negates spells and traps i think yeah and if you just like spam geyseris it's pretty good yeah, I don't know why they reprinted him. I don't remember why. I have no idea. <laughs> but if you just make a build that just spams the guy's Ares over and over again, you could yeah. probably win like that. So do you believe they have potential within the meta? Uh, let's see. War Chariot could negate stuff. No one uses, like, parry. Or, <laughs> Nobody uses... Yeah, that crap or this or this. <laughs> Rattiari or whatever could just manage their graveyard. I don't think... Nah, no one uses really? Return. Isn't this a... a I mean, I was using it just because I had it. <laughs> and I didn't have, like, everything for it. Yeah, I mean, you get to, it's it's draw power, yeah. I guess. They have Maybe, like, one of them. Like, this could search yeah. for everything except, like, Test Tiger. No one uses... It. I think people don't really use Test Tiger anyways anymore. Yeah, not many... There's so many cards within the archetype that they don't use. I mean, that happens with all archetypes. There's, like, a certain card here and there that no one uses. Like, with Fluffles, no one uses... The, uh, that one trap card. It was a uh, Fluffle Crane. Yeah. I would use Fluffle Crane. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like yeah. one of this guy. But yeah, I can see what you mean, though. But obviously their artwork and everything... Their, their artwork is really cool. So... <coughs> it looks like... This is, looks like something that would be in the, uh... Anime and whatnot. I mean, like, just based off the, uh... 
artwork and everything. Yeah. They look like they'd be in the anime. Were they in the anime? I don't remember. I don't know. I can't remember either. <laughs> What's this uh, archetype? What's this archetype? Um, what's gonna call it? What's this archetype? Uh, <laughs> gosh, what was I gonna ask? I was gonna ask something. But I don't remember what I was gonna ask. Hmm. Like if they were. Uh, I don't remember what I was gonna ask. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> are we missing any cards? I feel like we are missing certain ones. Uh, I mean uh, the ones that don't matter. I mean. Uh, I don't even think anyone uses Demikari. I mean, oh, people no. really just use Beastiari, Laquari, Darius, Equest, and Retiari. And maybe one Hoplomus. I don't know. I mean, the way you used it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just... Thought. I just spam guys there. It's like I said, that's like basically the best you could do. Yeah, so what are their strengths and weaknesses? Exactly. Their weaknesses? Yeah, what's, what, what are their strengths and weaknesses? If they don't get going. If they just like break. So they so they have a potential to break. You mean like monarchs? Yeah. And basically breaking? anyone they can't really run over. So if, if they can't get over a certain beater, then yeah, they're just. I mean, they have a three K guy, so I don't think they but should have. To like make their effects go off, because you know how they like tag out each other and then they get their effects yeah. off. So yeah, basically if they can't get over anything, they, you know. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like UAs where if they can't get over anything, then they're kind of having. Issues there. Well, you always could just OTK double doubles their attack with that jersey. <laughs> no, it doesn't double their attack. It gain an extra 1,000 from the jersey. <laughs> well, that's damn near and honest. <laughs> just like... Uh, no, it's, it's that you'll send you, what, what's, that, what's that you'll send you card, the one where you could discard them and then your I guy gets a thousand? I think it was like Tsujik or something Yeah, Tsujik like or something like that. And like Kalut for Black Wings. <laughs> so what are their strengths, <laughs> Glad Beast? What are their strengths? I mean, this pops two cards, and they could stun their opponent pretty good with just, like... If they just have Heracleanos and Chariot set, like, it's pretty good. What does Chariot do? It negates, like, a monster effect or effect, card effect. Okay, so that's pretty good, then. And it's Counter Trap, too, so that's all, yeah. definitely a good thing. Oh, it's just a monster effect, so he could just negate spells and traps. This could just negate the monster effect. So what would be, like, one of their big plays? Uh, the big plays? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for just Fuse, <laughs> attack, and defuse into two other Gladbys. I, I don't know their big plays. Like, I could not yeah. understand this deck that well. Like, all I did was just bring out Geyseris to nuke their board and then just, like, <laughs> attack. Yeah. And go into, like, a wall or something. I, I think I played this deck bad, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I did not know, like... Yeah, I mean, it's an stuff. old archetype, and it does take some understanding. Because I know uh, archetypes back then, they actually did take some brain power, and they weren't very straightforward. Like, you know those uh, helmet decks and everything? Yeah, like... Like, uh, for example, like a generic rank 4 spam <laughs> type of deck. Well, like... Dino Rabbit or something. <laughs> Dino Rabbit. <laughs> I'm not even Sorry, gonna Dino lie. Dino Rabbit was, was pretty. Day. Yeah, Dino Rabbit was pretty busted, dude. Yeah, I'm, I mean it was good. It's just it, it, <laughs> you didn't really need to understand anything. That's why Konami tried to hit it so many times. <laughs> or like Light Swarms. <laughs> like, oh, I don't like Light. I don't, I don't care what. No offense says. to you, Light Swarm players out there, but I, I personally don't like Light Swarms. Yeah, like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had like, a bad experience. <laughs> like dicks like these, like you really do need to think and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty tough though, because I mean, like they have their little armor and stuff like that. They remind yeah. me of no, they remind me of um, like they look like somebody that would go up against the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, look, like, like there's villains. a horse. Yeah, I don't know, maybe like a villain. Yeah, like those guys that'd hide underneath the uh, sewers and whatnot. Yeah, I Wait, that that was, yeah, that's what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did. Yeah, <laughs> they do look like a cartoon villains or something, like some like Power Ranger team. Yeah, it'd be cool if somebody actually did use this in the anime. Cause then if if they did that, if they did what they did with um with uh Constellers, Gem Knights, and uh, there was a third one too, um, um Constellers, Gem Knights, and X Sabers, then they would go and end up giving them support, which is actually pretty cool. Cause I mean, I like to see these guys in the anime. Yeah, I, I've a lot of people put this on their top ten deck list, by the way. For some reason. Like, you mean, like... Like, the top ten decks of this format. Like, oh, really? they, all, they always just threw it in a random number. For, but now I think they don't do any more. Because they just realized this deck didn't do anything. It's when Bestiari came back to three. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Because you remember how they had him at one for the longest time for no reason? <laughs> right? That was, like, yeah. for some random reason. Yeah, like, BCR was at one. And, like, it, yeah, it pops time. a back row and it's an MST, but still, this... Yeah, who, who, I think no, it was because it could... Is it, it Quarry, like, the heart and soul, or no? No, it's... Is that the wrong one? 
uh, the heart and soul of the day. I think they all are heart and soul, basically, because they all need to go into each other. I can see that. All right, I don't know too yeah, much about Gem. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, not Gemini. Basically, Black like Beast. one would just kill it. They would probably bring out like Red Yari just to banish it, and then yeah, yeah. But it's really cool though. I, I like think this side. was that one because of Geyseris though, because this was is such a good card. Oh yeah, because he was required. Yeah. Required, required for Bestiari. Him, huh? I'm sorry, yeah. Bestiari. Yeah. 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 This is a really cool, ar- cool archetype. Cool archetype. Yeah. And it's relatively cheap, right? It's budget. Yeah, it's pretty budget. Part. I mean, Red Yari Secret Rare though is like heck of money. I think <laughs> that's why. I don't know I why. <laughs> All right. So. This is the archetype. So if you have any other archetypes that you'd suggest for us, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.